What's going on with everybody? It's your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon, giving it to you real raw rugged, and I am back in here with another review. Haven't been here in a minute. I apologize, but when I get in that mood to review something, it got to be an album or a song or artist that put me in that mood. And man, this is the one, bro. Michigan Boat Boy by the Boat Boy himself, Little Yachty. He got me in one of them bags, bro. So I, I've been hyped about this album for a minute. If you've been following my channel, you know I've been waiting for this, uh, waiting for this album. You know I've been bigging up Michigan rappers all the way from V's and bro. I, I've been hyping these niggas up all last year. I done did a complex article on it last year. Go read that. That's a pretty cool article. I done interviewed by eighty five percent of niggas on here. Like I'm really huge fans of these niggas. Like forget. Trying to be a like, journalist, cricket nigga. I am a fan. You feel me, bro? Fan first of music, bro. That fan will never leave me, man. That's why I like music in the first place because I'm such a big fan. So when I hear artists team up to get on this album that I'm a fan of from this one region, I'm hyped, man. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. This album is brought to you by Pizza Hut. Let's do it, man. Uh, first track, Final Form. Now, this is introspective, Yachty. A uh, little fun fact, I'm, I was never the hugest Yachty fan. Like, when he would get his rap bag, I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like, that wasn't bad. But I feel like now, since he's linked up with these Michigan boys, and he's been doing it since T Grizzly, but, like, this new regime with last year, he put out songs with Sada, he got songs with Rio and them niggas. I'm like, you know what? This is a little different. Like, he he ain't one of them bags. You're like, this ain't a regular Yachty bag. He went in the... He went in the uh, the, 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 the Virgil Abloh, Louis Vuitton Supreme collab bag. This is a little different right here. So I was hyped to hear what he was going to put on this album. And he got even a little introspective. I've never heard a guy do that. Maybe he has, but I haven't heard him do a full song. Just kind of introspection. Basically talking about if I get jammed, who going to write a nigga? Uh, if I die, who going to stand next to me in my wake? And who going to... Who gonna console my crying mother and sister? Not like just one of them bags, you know. Like I feel like every rapper has a song like this. Like, I feel like this is inspired by like a rapper just sitting down at home and he get that phone call that he's he don't even recognize the number. Uh, it's it's, it's an uncle he ain't talked to him about twenty Sam years. And he, hey man, it's your uncle. I ain't seen you since you was little little boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me cut to the tape though, mama. Rent late, you know what I'm saying? My baby mama leaving me, you know. My the food stamps like he get one of them calls. And I feel like every rapper be like damn like do they want me because or do they love me because i'm me or do they love me because i got this money this fame and all of this so it's one of them type songs uh it was a pretty good song i, I like the way it started off and then we go to uh introspection track it made me go hmm interesting so track number two that made me just like oh my like where's a gun who do i kill <laughs> one of them type backs he made me think like you know what i need to go and love the people for who they are so you know what <laughs> I need to go kill this nigga for who he is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Right? Nigga made me went to Jesus to the devil in just a minute of seconds. You feel me? A matter of seconds, man. And dynamic duo feature. It is all because of T Grizzly, bro. T, I don't know who pissed T Grizzly off, bro. I don't know, goddamn, what the. <laughs> I don't know if a bitch peed in his bed. I don't know if he woke up with a girl and he she had she had period blood in this nigga bed. I don't know what made this nigga this mad, bro. Like I don't know if a nigga got some new. Shoes, nigga stepped on it, bro. I don't know what was this nigga problem, my guy. But my God, that nigga was talking crazy, bro. He stopped the song. Hey, little Instagram, bitch. How much you fucking for? Like, whoa. <laughs> uh, can you say hey first? <laughs> Hey, where's the manners, T Grizzly? <laughs> nigga ain't even say, hey, how are you doing? My name's T Grizzly. What's your name? Uh, I don't know. What's the Instagram whole name? Uh, Marissa. I don't know. My name's Marissa. All right, cool. Uh, so what's your price? Didn't even do a little nice, you know, greetings. Let's get to the negotiation process. Just straight, let's get to it. That's like, you ever watch Pawn Stars? I'm a big Pawn Stars guy. Just imagine nigga walk to the Pawn Stars shop. Nigga see Rick. Nigga Rick says, hey, all right, nigga, how much you gonna pay for this? <laughs> Hey, you know how Rick like to get into the history of the thing. So this is a this is a 1932 gallon gun. This was first used in the World War One. You know he getting all that back. <laughs> hey, these walk over to Rick. Hey, hey, motherfucker, how, how much this cost? So, hey, hey, nigga, what's your name? Who are you? You know what I'm saying? That nigga just came. Hey, let's the grab, bitch. How much you fucking for? I'm, <laughs> nigga, I failed to defend. I don't even sell coochie, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I failed. I was like, is this what sex workers gotta go through? God damn, man. Nigga, T. Grizzly just came walking back talking crazy to these niggas, bro. What he said, bro? He said, uh, he said, um, he said, stay, in, he said, since you can't stay in your place, nigga, stay in your casket. Like, come on, bro. My gun, like some silverware, I can eat with that. Come on, man. And then he, like, go even crazier. Like, I, I, I think I emoted. Come on. Like, when he started rapping, when he got into the part where he was like, um, 
what he say? Uh, he said that nigga who shot my brother, he ain't breathing. That don't mean he antisocial. He ain't. What, no, 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 no. He said, he said uh, that nigga who shot my brother, he ain't speaking. That don't mean he antisocial. He ain't breathing. Come on. Let me look at the. I ain't finna do what I usually do. Let me look at the camera. Listen here, T Grizz. Listen here, uh, nigga. You you be streaming on Twitch, playing Grand Theft Auto, happy as can be, just the nicest guy. Seem like polite human. I don't know what got into you and possessed you to go this crazy on this song. Like, nigga, I damn near threw my bonnet just listening to that nigga. Uh, he, what, he, ain't, he ain't anti-soldier. He ain't breathing. I was like, stop it, man. Nigga, stop playing with him, T. Grizzly. What? Come on, man. That verse is elite, bro. Nigga had me. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah, you feel me? Hey, Detroit niggas gonna appreciate that, man. Nigga had me doing the Blade Ice War, man. Rest in peace, Blade, bro. Hey, he had me feeling it, man. What? Dog, that song is crazy. Yachty came with a fire verse, but man, T Grizzly. I don't know if a, he must have went to his comment section. Nigga was like, hey, T Grizzly, you stink. <laughs> that nigga was pissed, bro. What? Love that verse, man. Love this song, but gosh, I didn't know, boy. That boy was talking that. He was talking that spice talk right now. Anyway, man, another solo uh, Yachty track, Concrete Goonies. I love this beat, man. Energy, man. Energy, why you always doing that, man? You always doing something, man. Shout out to Mr. YNJ. But Yachty slid on here. I feel like this is a perfect beat for Yachty to just go in solo. He did his thing. This was fire. And then we go to Don't Even Bother featuring V's and Baby Smooth, man. V's really the chosen one. If you're not familiar, V's arguably might be the best rapper alive. That guy is amazing, man. What'd he say? He said, uh, little bro asked him my gun. I told him, bring it back empty, man. He said, what'd he say? The doctor prescribed me with the meds, even if I ain't showing no symptoms, man. He was talking that talk, bro. He said, I got enough to feed a whole village with the stash and a rental. <laughs> hey, he was talking that talk, man. And then you got Baby Smooth, man. What do you say? Baby Smooth said niggas be paying to have friends. You know, Baby Smooth always goes, he gonna make a nigga feel like a piece of shit. Every time I heard Baby Smooth, bro, his last two albums we put out last year were great. Every verse, bro, he make you feel like, damn, niggas, I'm doing nothing with my life right now. I think it'll always make you feel like that. I love uh, Smooth. And then uh, Yachty came through the fire verse too, man. Fire, fire song. G.I. Joe, it's going to be one of the ones that probably take off, man, with Louis Ray. Louis Ray is low, 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 low key. One of the most diverse rappers in the Michigan scene because he could do the jokey yeah, style, but he could rap too. He could do the auto tune. He's very moldable. Like, he's a, like, if he was a basketball player, you would want him on your team because he's coachable. He's not going to be too big for the team, no eye in team. He's a guy that could switch up his sound. He could switch up his play for the team if needed. He could really mold into whatever you need on that song. So, yeah, very coachable player. Gotta love rappers like that. Louis Ray is very, very diverse. And this is fire, man. He he might be on a hit song when that beat that. Boo -doo -doo, boo -doo -doo, boo -doo -doo, boo -doo -doo. Now, that beat is hard, man. I think Boo the Bless this beat was on this fire song. That nigga Yachty was sliding on this. Uh, Louis was smooth with it. Like, you need a smooth nigga. Louis a smooth nigga, man. Louis always got his hat cocked to the side. He always be in the song just shaking his head like this in the video. He just a smooth nigga, man. I rock with Louis. G.I. Joe is probably going to be, like, the song or one of the songs that blow up the most. So, yeah, man. Shout out to Louis for hopping on this one and being, like I said, just a moldable, coachable guy, man. He can fit in any situation and excel. He's not like he's trying it out and he's like, all right, you're going to need some work. Like, he sound good on everything that he does. So, shout out to Louis Ray, man. Very consistent guy. Uh, then we go to Never Did Coke. Something I was not expecting with Sway Lee. Not because I think Sway Lee and Lugati do Coke, but just because I, I just wasn't expecting this. Uh, I wasn't expecting Sway Lee to be on here. Sway Lee is a V's fan, though, which would lead me to believe he is a Michigan rap fan. There is a vlog with V's, and he's with uh, Sway Lee. They're listening to unreleased music together. And yeah, I was like, okay, so this is probably like, you know, a nigga who appreciates the style. So I don't know if he got wind of this. I was like, yo, I want to hop on this. I love Michigan rap too, which is cool, you know? Uh, not a bad song. It's not nothing too, too crazy. Uh, Sway Lee's second verse is my favorite of the song. I, th I think he did his thing on here. Uh, but yeah, it was a cool song. It was nothing really to say, but I know a lot of people do like this song, but I, I, I thought it was, just, it was cool. It was cool. But then we go to Ghetto Boy Shit Feature. RMC Mike, man. Ghetto Boys. Free the ghetto, man. Free Rio, man. I freaking love RMC Mike. The first time I heard, heard RMC Mike, 
It was, uh, I don't know why I'm forgetting the name of the song right now, but it's a song on the first Dumb and Dumber with him and uh, Rio. That was the first one I heard. And I was like, bro, this nigga legit sounds like a, a Monsters, Inc. villain. If you hear this nigga voice, man. Oh. <laughs> I, like, everything he say just sound disgusting, man. Oh, God, flim his voice. I told him to spit it out. <laughs> He didn't say that, but he's just something disgusting he would say, man. What he say? I just rolled up a, I just rolled up a wood with the ops life in it. <laughs> I've never heard or oh, rolling up a nigga in a blunt bar sounds so menacing as this, bro. I just rolled up a wood with the ops life in it. <laughs> what he say? Oh, stab the nigga in the face. He got life in it. <laughs> White bitch got good hair, but she got lights in it. <laughs> Bro, that nigga sound crazy, bro. That nigga sound like he opened little kids' doors professionally to scare them, bro. Legit a voice out of Monsters, Inc. Love Mike, man. That was such a fire verse. And then Yachty come through, and then he come through with another verse. Bro, I will never, ever get enough of Mike, man. Mike can rap in that voice. He got something called Bars that I never hear talked about. Look up RMC Mike Bars if you want to hear a good solo Mike song. That's one of my favorite songs by him, man. What'd he say? I got them grits like them Milwaukee niggas. <laughs> uh, what he, he's had a crazy bar. Uh, he said, I, I, who'd he say? Uh, I, just, I, I just, he said something like, I just passed the blunt to my little nigga and almost Killed the minor. <laughs> bro, I love that nigga, bro. Shot the mic, man. And then speaking of just freaking filthy, filthy flint rappers, we go to track number eight with Rio, man. And we got Vezo from the deal here, man. God dog, bro. Vezo was talking crazy, man. Uh Yachty came through with the I'm Cole Bennett and I ain't in it. I like that bar. Um Vezo, man, he was talking that talk, man. Uh what did what, what he say, bro? He said the clip, he said the clip looked longer than the gun. They think the stick backwards. Woo! I like that. He has some bars in here, bro. So Something like, uh, wait, what do you say? He, he, he shoot a nigga chrome hearts off. Now he drip fashion. Like, ooh, hey, 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 Vezo been talking recently, bro. I love that nigga Vezo, man. He was talking crazy. And then Rio, of course, man. What'd he say, bro? If you, what'd he, what'd he say? Uh, he said, uh, <laughs> he said, I hauled the nigga in with the 30. He was zigzagging. <laughs> I love, I love the, the image of Rio chasing a nigga down and the nigga thinking like, you know, you know how, you know how to get away from this? I'm a zigzag. I could just imagine nigga running straight line. He's like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> nigga think he dashed from the end. <laughs> hey, imagine doing all that just to still get shot. That's hilarious, man. You know how much energy that takes to run in a zigzag to try to get away from a nigga? A nigga has to be very bad at aiming if he's just going to zigzag like that. That is hilarious, man. <laughs> What he said, man, he said, uh, I, he said, my shooter got ADHD, he'll kill you for a script of Addie's fire. Uh, of course, the, oh my gosh, man, the bar is so, man. If you ever see me run from a nigga, I shot the stick backwards. <laughs> Bro, what else do you want? Bro, these niggas are the best, bro. If you ever see me run from a nigga, I shot the stick back. Come on, bro. Stop it, man. Hey man, what are the <laughs> this would kill me? Nigga said, uh, he said, I'm taking niggas' guns in the club. I got what do you say? I'm taking niggas' guns in the club, bitch. I got a magnet. <laughs> hey, imagine being in the club, you got you got the gun on you on the low, or whatever. <laughs> hey, nigga, yo, your body just are whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, nigga started zigzagging for nigga, nigga, what's going on? And <laughs> hey, nigga just sitting with no gun on him. Oh, nigga, real with his magnets. <laughs> hey, niggas are niggas don't bring their guns in the club because they know this nigga just for <laughs> nigga, niggas' body just whoa, <laughs> niggas flying in the air because the magnet. <laughs> Hey, this nigga, 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 nigga raised the magnet like Simba in the air, man. <laughs> Niggas in the club. Whoa! <laughs> hey, but Rio is Thanos, bro. Rio and MC and, and RMC Mike, they're like, I don't know, what are two, like, dueling just villains? Like, not even sidekicks, but just two, like, equal villains. That's what RMC Mike and Rio is, bro. Freaking Thanos and I don't know. Uh, I don't know, bro. Freaking I don't know. Whoever else is a villain, man. That nigga is. They they're great, man. Uh, number nine though, man. Fight night round three featuring V's and Ray. Come on, bro. Now this is just overkill at this point, bro. There's so many great duos. Caster, Quan, TJ. I don't know if they're still duo at this point. Uh, RMC, Mike, uh, Rio. Uh, who else, man? You got you got Sada Baby and Skilla Baby. You got a lot of duos, man. Even even Ray and uh, Samuel Shabazz. It's a lot of duos in Michigan, man. But the one to beat is is is, is Ray and V's, bro. Babyface Ray and V's. They're literally Shaq and Kobe. Niggas say that all the time. No, they're they literally put up a hundred points 
when they play, bro. Like, it's Wilt Chamberlain, Wilt Chamberlain, bro. They're two Wilt Chamberlains, bro. Like, it's crazy. They're like Jokic this year, bro. Like, they're putting up a triple-double every time they're on a song together, bro. This is just not fair, bro. I didn't even write everything down, bro. Like, like these last verse with all my niggas got on red, like they working for Target. I mean, it's just, it's too much, bro. Even though I done done it all, I'm not shoddy low. Like, come on, Ray, man. What he said, he said, uh, <laughs> what he said, man, he, he had that bar about uh, 17 wavy navy, uh, not, what do you say, 17 wavy navy, not a yacht in the water. Walked in the Rolex shop, uh, saw, saw a yacht and I bought it. Like, that's slick talk, bro. Like, who who talking like that, man? Then V's came with the, we just turned the San Fran Mansion to a grow house. Like, they're just so good, bro. What that nigga say? He said, he said, I got the, he said, I got a spot. He said, I got a spot bumping, like fast food, niggas going in and out. Like, come on, bro. It's too much, bro. It's too much, bro. What do you say? We put it, we put up an ATL with them things. We brought snow in the south. Come on. <laughs> It was too much, bro. I can't write everything down. Literally, if they put out an EP, it might be the best dueling EP since Watch the Throne. I'm not even joking. Like, that's how good they are when they are with each other, bro. It's too much super slimy type vibes, bro. Like, it would be elite back and forth rapping, bro. You feel me, man? Uh, only built for Cuban Links type of bag, you know? That's the type of bag they'll be in, man. Fire, fire stuff. And then Yachty came through, and he did his thing too, man. But dip two on the song, it's, it's spooky hours, man. Uh, SB2001, uh, shout out to, who the hell is Carlo? Shout out to Carlo, man. I'll be interviewing him soon. He produced the beat. Um, what that nigga say, man? He said, I love, that nigga Yachty said, I love my coochie, her girl, tired in Iverson sleeve. That's a classic. That that made me laugh. Um, yeah, man. Sada sounded also really upset. I don't know what upset that nigga. He always sound upset at his songs though. But man, we say freaky bitch go eat the dick like cassava. Ooh, don't look in my eyes and call me cassava. Ooh. Hey, he was going crazy, bro. Apple bottom cause he yells ooh, Ronnie. Ooh. He was going crazy on this, bro. Yeah, that that was a perfect beat. Just let him just get out the anger that he had for whatever reason, man. This is fire, man. And we go to stunt double. Gosh, I really wish Rio verse was longer, but this is a good song, man. Uh, what that nigga Yachty say? She in love with my do rag like Thundercat. Shout out to Thundercat. That was a, that was a great bar. Uh, but yeah, man, Rio had like freaking four bars and dipped. I really wish it was longer, man. But the song for what it was, it was pretty cool. Really, really short. Wish it was longer. But for what it was, it was it was a pretty good song. Uh, SB five. I don't know what this SB is. That was Super Bowl. I don't, I don't know what this is to be honest with you. But uh, SB five featuring Sada. If anybody knows, let me let me know. Uh, but yeah, man, this is also a, a fire song. Sada had a, a Leonardo DiCaprio bar about the white boy being a star. That was hard. Um, yeah, man, this beat is menacing. Fire, fire song. Not really too much to say. It's just, just, just a menacing, dark beat. And them niggas just going, man. It was going back and forth. It was fire. And then we come to, I don't know, man, maybe feature of the year with Baby Tron. And that says a lot. You have all of these great Michigan rappers on here. And Baby Tron might have the best feature I've heard in rap, in music, in 2021 bro it's it's one of them ones where i had to pull out my phone bro it's 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 really that it's it's one of them bro it's not one of them normal ones you just gonna hear every day bro this nigga bro come on man that nigga was going crazy bro demolition man i'm in your bitch crib wall breaking come on bro bro he was what it was bro he was going in and out of these crazy flows to go back out of the flow to come back into the flow the oh my gosh what do you say bro retarded but he scribble shit just like doodle bob <laughs> come on man what that nigga say finna hit a finna drop a uav got real killers with me 2016 i made a killing off vanilla giffies man that nigga was going crazy bro with the high c deuce of walk y3 newest croc five fiends by two o'clock hype beast gucci gucci socks side street lose the cops try me they shooting glocks tricking on a picky bitch like do you want these shoes or not come on man bro retarded but he scribbled something like he doodle bob used to do the ramen it's 200 for the for the noodles now bro he was talking he was talking crazy bro this is definitely the, the this might be feature of the year man this nigga was going wild bro what he say? He had that dog shit from EDD, but he ran out. Lil Boat, baby, trying. Bad Boys, 89. Exotic Pop Muddy got me walking like Frankenstein. Bro, hey, no, I'm telling I don't think there's any flow on this album that's better than that. Sada Baby on SB2001, he was getting these crazy pockets that I don't know how he was catching, which may rival this a tad bit. But nah, bro, Baby Tron flow lyrics, I, this is... 
this blew me away. And I love Tron. So it's not saying like I think he sucks or anything. I freaking interviewed him. I love Tron. But I did not expect him to steal the show and his album like this, bro. Man, this was one of them ones, bro. What do you say? Lying little bougie. All my, what do you say? Lying little bougie. All my bitches got a bad mouth. Didn't want to fight in middle school. You want to scrap now? Put your hands down. And point two, I'm pulling Mag out. Man, stop it. Stop it, man. Yachty came through with a fire verse, man. But boy, I'm telling you. That's one of them ones right there, man. Shout out to my boy Tron, man. That's, that's verse of the year right there. Uh, and then we go to track number 14, man. Uh, this that one, yeah. Uh, featuring Crispy Life Kid, Louis Ray, Slap Savage V's, and hey, it's the Coochie Man. <laughs> Do you want this coochie, man? I'll take you to coochie land. Hey, shout out to Y&J, man. I beat the Doonies, man. <laughs> hey, bro, I love this song, man. I don't know what Louis Ray meant when he said, I'm finna pay kid to do a whole song without cussing. I don't know why that's a thing. I don't know if they make a song for Dizzy Channel or something. <laughs> Imagine Dizzy Channel hearing this album being like, you know what? We need these guys. <laughs> hey, man, Y&J said, I, I shoot a nigga in the booty. That's my first warning. <laughs> Hey, why get the first one and be like, hey, chill out. Imagine you saying nigga something like, I don't know, something you just did not know what a fitness nigga you just get. Like, nigga, what is that? Nigga, you start leaking out his booty. Be like, nigga, what? <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. That is such a freaking fire song, man. Everybody went crazy on there, man, from V's and all of them niggas, bro. Why I was happy to hear Y and J. As soon as I hear, uh, hey, I'm like, oh, man. He put a smile on my face, man. This that one for it. <laughs> I had to I had to lie alone like the one Jordans. <laughs> when I every time I hear his voice, I, I get happy, bro. I be like, man, this nigga here, he's just such a goofy guy, man. I love that nigga, man. So hey, that's possibly my album of the year, man. Up with the Los and Nutty album that came out this year. That's that's low key tied with my top two albums of the year so far, man. So hey, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this album because I definitely did. So until next time, I say what I be, I be what I say. Haters go hate, uh, players go play, man. I highlight your partner, man.